if I told you we get a Taylor Sheridan flick starring An- Angelina Jolie, you'd probably be like, all right, let's 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 do this. It sounds awesome. And I think this one is a little bit better than Woman in the Window, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Um, I'm just happy to see Angelina Jolie acting, dog. I agree. Like, go look at her credits the past 10 years. It's mainly her directing. And I think she directed herself once or twice. But other than that, it's really like some like franchise obligations like Maleficent 2 and voice work. She has not really been around all that much. We know she'll be in Internals coming up, which is very exciting. But, you know, she hasn't been around all that much. I know some of that's attributed to her just, you know, raising her family. She's got a lot of kids and Mm -hmm. trying to be, you know, develop herself as a director. She's made a lot of movies at this point. But it's kind of disappointing to see Angelina Jolie, like, take that step back when she was only like i think 35 or so you know she's only 45 now like it's she's and she's still she still looks you know, amazing so it's not like hollywood mm-hmm. is like oh no you're too ugly now as an old lady we can't cast you anymore it's not even that hollywood bullshit i just i i, I think it's probably just a lot of her own personal choice if i have to have to imagine but either way this is kind of a traditional like you know adult drama star vehicle sort of thing and yeah. I'm happy to see that, of course, especially when it's from someone I'm always interested in, like Taylor Sheridan. For sure. And uh, I totally agree. I think seeing her back on the screen is definitely the thing I found most intriguing. And I think what I enjoyed most in this movie, apart from uh, obviously Aiden Gillian and uh, Nicholas Holt, just mm-hmm. uh, yeah. being, you know, killers, assassins. This, I thought they were great. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it, when, when we think about Taylor Sheridan, I guess, like, and I guess this is where I also was most interested at. I think he's a filmmaker who has really come on the scene and just kind of like taken the film world by storm as like a creator, right? Like Sicario mm-hmm. um, as a writer just crushed it. Hell or High Water, another script he wrote absolutely crushed it and nominated uh, every major award that season um yellowstone which he's created directed produced one of the most successful shows that we just don't talk about yeah like the anchor of the paramount network and hugely popular popular show no question so he's yeah he's just been dominating recently and you know that sicario de la soldado we're like it's a action hero movie in reality but like it was still entertaining yeah um, don't forget without... his directorial debut when we win river though i think win river is right. quite quite special and that's um the second of his three john bernthal collabs of course john bernthal also in this film mm-hmm. and he recently wrote for another movie we talked about without remorse mm-hmm. so uh you know having sicario and without remorse being you know the two most recent things he's written on there's a little bit of like a something's going on here those who wish me dead i i think is not necessarily in the same you know place as like without remorse i think there's a, a little bit more here and you can see a lot of the same like shared and touches and connections but i definitely don't think it's up there with something like hell or high water no. sicario wind river so it, it's kind of mid for him i'd say yeah i mean i think at that, this point tell sharon he seems to be working and writing non-stop he's very in demand and i think his obligations regarding yellowstone probably take up a lot of his time as well but this still has a lot of those trappings of sheridan normally we're out on the frontier we're in montana you know which mm-hmm. i believe um he has he has a ranch out there yellowstone shoots out there montana wyoming i forget exactly where each one of them is but like this is this is the the realm that taylor sheridan likes to both operating creatively as well as also i think uh, occupy his physical being so that makes a lot of sense to me and what you know this this one is funny like watching this i think having seen the whole movie i think i appreciate it more in the middle i was like hmm is there like a mystery being unraveled regarding like, why do they, why are these killers being sent to kill this dude? Then later go track down his son when they realize he has the information. It's like, well, what is that about really? Like, is that a big mm-hmm. deal? Is there some grand conspiracy that that forensic accountant, the dad had uncovered? It's like, no, it's not, it's not really about that at all. It's just kind of like a survival movie, both surviving from 
uh, your killers and also the elements. And yeah. I think, you know, there's some like metaphors about like how the, the, the gigantic fire in the film is, of course, man made mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But I think, yeah, it's like at the end of the day, it's kind of just a star vehicle survival movie in a beautiful environment. And you're also chilling with a kid actor who's not that bad, you know, like he's not like getting in the way. So simple, I guess, simple movie, but still pretty entertaining. Yeah, I would say the action is pretty good. And I think the the plot mechanics are also really interesting, like having the the chase, you know, between, of Jack and what his name is, Patrick, Patrick Blackwell and Jack Blackwell, um, like chasing down the kid, uh, Connor, and having to like get away from them while you're also have this fire kind of impending, like all these things kind of like flashing together, I think is a really well-written concept and definitely is entertaining. Um, but yeah, I, I do think it's a bit, you know, uh, just like plot device to be like, God, ah, you need to get this information to the news. And, <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, we don't really care what it's about. Tyler Perry's going to show up and just kind of yada, yada it real quick. And then you can kind of forget yeah. about what's actually going on there. Um, I, I, I do think like, it, it was an interesting choice to make John Ber- Bernthal such an integral part of the movie. And I, I think Sheridan really likes him. I think Bernthal's okay, but I don't really think he's like, like a star. Like he's not on Jolie's level. And I feel like that role no. could have used someone a little bit more high profile. Yeah. He, it's funny. Like I, I always have really enjoyed Bernthal. He's also just acting all the time, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, whenever I see him though, I'm always like, hmm, something with this guy He's probably yeah. bad. And he wasn't bad in this. I was like, oh, oh okay. He's just a, he's a good dude, you know, protecting the <laughs> protecting the streets out in Montana. Yeah. All right, all right. You know what I could have used in this? I could have used, like, Jolie and the kid running through that field, maybe not having them running through a, f- a middle of the field in a lightning storm. That did not make any fucking sense to me. Yeah. Like, why the <laughs> fuck would she tell him to do that? Why would she do that herself? That is the stupidest thing. And that they're, like, mm-hmm. ducking to, like, not be tall. And get struck by lightning. So yeah, you know that you're gonna get struck by fucking lightning doing this. Why don't you stick in the fucking forest? Like, yeah. What the fuck? Uh, but maybe we could have been in that field during the day and seen like a nice moose or something, an elk. And you know, I could have used like a really good <laughs> animal moment in this because you were in a beautiful environment. And I, I did I not know. expect you to say that at all. I thought you were gonna be like, I could have used like. I don't know, some, like, actor. I thought you were going to be like, I could have used, like, Finn Wolfhard in the kid role or something. But, like, no, you just wanted to see a moose in the back. I like that. That's it did. great. I did. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, ultimately, I think a lot of survival stuff is a little, you know, don't don't think too hard about it. A lot of it's a, 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 quite, a, quite a stretch. But, um, oh, sure. Honestly, Bernthal's wife, played by, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Medina Senghor. I actually thought right. her, her stuff was great. Like both like just like the action set pieces that she's a big part of and also her, her relationship with Bernthal. Like yeah. I didn't expect that piece of it, but I like that. I agree. I like the part when Eating Gillian's like, You're facing it the wrong way and she's like, No, I'm not and then, like turns the <laughs> gas with the flame on him and sets him on fire. I thought that was great. Um yeah, and then later on when she has the the, the sniper rifle and finally yeah. Mercs him. I thought that was really well done too. You know, and there's there's something about just having like like a forest fire, or like a big fire as like a background that just makes all the shots look so cool. You know, it's like he really can't like do that wrong a lot of time. It's, it's sad to say because like obviously not good for the environment that these things are happening, mm. but of course. um definitely looks cool in movies. Yeah, yeah. I was um <laughs> yeah, from the jump. I'm like, oh, Anne Gillen and Nichols Holt. Oh. Oh, they're yeah, they're up to nefarious shit. That is abundantly clear. Aiden Gillian, that's that's all he knows how to do. Uh, that made me laugh. But yeah, I, honestly, this also makes me want want to watch uh, Only the Brave, which is that movie from 2017 about um all those uh, forest firefighters that passed mm-hmm. out fighting like the granite mountain uh, fires like out there out west a few years back. That movie with like Miles Teller and Josh Brolin. And like Jeff Bridges, Taylor Kish, like I remember, like wanting to see that. Thought the trailer was really effective, but I had missed that movie. And it's actually from uh, Kaczynski, who's directed Top Gun Maverick. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go check this movie out because Taylor Sheridan's got me in the move to watch more forest fire stuff. Yeah, did um, 
I'm trying to think because I remember there was like the comment that Brenthal's wife makes where she's like, and she's also your ex girlfriend or something like that. Is that ever paid off or is that just like a thrown in line? Like it? That is completely throw away. Yeah, wow. I forgot about that already. I thought there was going to be something to that. Maybe they like nixed it, but then they have like a very loving scene between Brenthal and his wife. So I was like, oh, nothing can come of this, right? But I thought, mm-hmm. I thought there was going to be more there. Um, yeah, I, I would give this movie like a I don't know, B minus. Like it's it's fine. You know, it, it's an hour forty, which also was nice. I was like, yeah, just, yeah, keep just, it just happy concise. to be chilling with Angelina Jolie. Like I'm exactly. not gonna be picky at this point. Like I want to keep watching her, and we'll see her in Eternals. So, um, you know, you as you were saying, look look through her filmography, hold it up, and she does go through these three year stretches where she just doesn't do anything at all. Um, you know, from 2011 to 2014 uh 2012 2013 there's nothing and then from 16 to 19 there's nothing in 17 or 18 so uh just keep working angelina 